Alrighty guys, here we go. So we'll start with a slightly less exciting one. This is the Walking Dead Andrea's Rifle. This has all of the bolt action -y elements of Busby Blasters of the past, yet it has a clipazine integrated and a scope mounted on top of a tactical rail. Climbing range is of up to 72 feet using the Busby suction darts. I've already praised the Busby suction darts for just being elite suction darts that cost a reasonable amount, so I don't feel the need to do that again, but I'm really, really excited that those exist. On the back here we have that it has the traditional clip release button, a trigger, a stock built in. I do not think that this stock is designed to open up and it shows us how to use it, but we know how to use it. Um, we are also advertising all of the other blasters. We haven't reviewed Abraham's rifle yet, but we will have in about an hour or so. So let's get this out of the package. <laughs> Alrighty, so I want to touch on this really quick. I love the packaging. I absolutely love the use of comic panels in the packaging. I can't stand these metallic cable ties. They're not great for the environment, and they're a huge pain to undo. Let's move to twine. It's cheaper, it's easier, everybody wins, guys. Um, Eight-round clipazine is cool. It's only a little bit bigger than the six-round clipazines that has bromakes, and it holds eight darts. They're also manufactured reasonably well now, and they're pretty nice. Blaster itself, as far as deco goes, is cool. I mean, it looks like a miniaturized hunting rifle. Handle is not comfortable. I've mentioned this in the past. The trigger well is small and far forward. The actual where place that your thumb goes impacts your ability to prime it, so you can't hold it like this and prime. In my mind, that's a pretty huge design flaw this should be recessed down further to allow anybody to do this and I have very thin fingers but my thumb is super duper in the way that leads to wanting to like hold it down here and yet the handle is completely blended into the stock the solution to this in my mind is a longer stock that's a little bit larger and a handle that actually drops down and a trigger that actually meets the handle like looking at any realistic firearm you could tell that this setup is not only cramped but also mechanically impractical now I'm not saying that all toys have to perform like actual firearms but for something that's taking influence from something like a hunting rifle I think that that would have made a little bit of sense the scope itself is a fun include it's uh, not doing anything obviously it is a zero magnification but it's a closed system so you don't have to worry about like bugs and dirt and water getting in there it ratchets along these things so that you can choose whether you want it there 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 or there realistically every kid's just going to slap it on or take it off depending upon if they want it on or not um, so uh, prime is pretty stiff which is actually a really good thing because it means these darts should be booking it to those 72 foot ranges. Now, the magazine release is the traditional Busby one. I've mentioned this in my review of the Sentinel. This is not an ergonomic magazine release. This requires you to go up to go down at the same time or to use two hands, which is also like non-ergonomically efficient. I like that Busby is using clips now, particularly because they are cross compatible in totality with the leading market competitor so that's really really cool that you could use any clipazine inside this blaster but i think that it's a little wild like their their deco is getting better these are all separate pieces of plastic they're still using stickers to identify this as a walking dead blaster which isn't the end of the world but also like kind of cheap but these blasters don't cost a ton that said for a collector's thing no collector is going to care about the actual performance of the blaster but for those of us that want to play with the blasters ergonomics are pretty important so the lack of a usable handle grip area and the lack of a realistically ergonomic magazine release makes this slightly Slightly impractical for war, but it it is cool. And we hit the fence there. Those are elite style performance, particularly angled angled feet, uh, angled shots breaking 80 feet easy. Um, the accuracy of the blaster is better than Nerf blasters on account of the darts being suction cup tips, but still shooting foam darts. Now that's kind of wild that we just like half primed and didn't actually engage. And part of that might be because I don't know what's going on here. So we can't clear this jam because we have to hold this back with one hand and do the weird 
chicken wing thing to get into the breach. This is very awkward for it to happen mid-review. I like this blaster in terms of its its performance ability, but the ergonomics here are just absolutely killing me. Cool collector's piece, literally unusable right now. How am I supposed to get this out? We'll try forcing it, which you should never do, and you can see that we did chamber the dart, but we only half primed the blaster. So maybe if we come all the way forward, nope, it's not primed enough to engage that catch. There we go, we seem to have reset it. At least it's resilient, guys, but <laughs> that's user error. Replace user, please try again. So not a bad blaster, definitely getting that elite style performance. Ergonomics need a little bit of work, but this is for the fans, not for the performance enthusiast. And as long as you like have it shouldered and your foregrip up here and you're using your active hand to do this, this isn't the end of the world. It's just a lot of shifting here. Gosh, it did it again. Uh, <laughs> the Walking Dead Andrea is dead for a reason blaster. Um, no. Uh, Shoot. Well, that's my review. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a fine performance piece. It's very difficult to use uh, quickly, for sure. Maybe, maybe with more deliberate actions that are that are very carefully planned out, it could be slightly better. But I, I have a hard time recommending this one. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed.